Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. Now, the first term is rewritten as x square into small p because from this, by comparison, we can understand what is capital P. In the same way, the second term is y square into small q and on the other side it is z into x plus y. So capital P is x square, capital Q is y square, capital R is z into x plus y. To get the solution we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now this is dx by x square equal to dy by y square and dz by z into x plus y. Now taking the first two terms we get dx by x square equal to dy by y square x terms on one side, y terms on the other side, it is already in the variable separable form, we can go for integrating this. This if I carry up x power minus 2, then on integration it is x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. So finally it is x power minus 1 by minus 1. So I am writing it directly minus 1 by x and in the same way this is minus 1 by y plus c1. Now taking this term to the other side, it becomes plus 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to c1 and we can change the sign throughout 1 by x minus 1 by y equal to minus c1 so this is our u which is 1 by x minus 1 by y if we want we can take lcm and give the answer or we can keep the terms as it is now when i take these two we have only dy and dz but we have x term very difficult to integrate or when I take these two also we have dx and dz but we have y term very difficult to integrate. So we have to apply some ratio properties that is the Lagrange multiplier method. What I can do is already what we have is dx by x square and dy by y square then dz by z into x plus y. I multiply minus with both numerator and denominator here and I am going to group this. This is the property of the ratio where I can add the numerators. So, but there is a minus sign. So, dx minus dy. Here it is x square minus y square. So, we can take these two terms that is dz by z into x plus y here dx minus dy by x square minus y square can be factorized as x plus y into x minus y so we can cancel these two now this is dz by z equal to d of I take d common and we got like this. This is of the form dt by t. On integration this gives log t. So now when I integrate on both the sides this becomes log z equal to log of x minus y plus since both are log we take log c2. So here if I combine these two terms using log rule, it is log of x minus y by c2 by removing log, sorry, it is a product. So log of x minus y into c2 by removing log z equal to x minus y into c2 and c2 will be z by x minus y. And this we take it as V that is Z by X minus Y. So here 
even in the last problem we faced a small problem at the end suppose if this entire term is here and this entire term is here what will happen is these two terms will interchange that is i will be getting log of x minus y equal to log z plus log c2 now using log rule if i combine log x minus y is equal to log of z into c2 after removing log x minus y by z will be our c2 but here we have its reciprocal but as i told both are equally valid either this or this both are correct it depends upon the term how we take left hand side and right hand side now after getting u and v we can go for giving the general solution which is f of u comma v equal to 0 so f of u is 1 by x minus 1 by y so 1 by x minus 1 by y comma what i got here is this even if you get reciprocal of this it is fine equal to 0 so we got the general solution for the given partial differential equation by using the Nectaranges multiplier method.